Oh man, what the hell? Well, thanks for cleaning up, bud. What a nice guy. <laughs> um, anyway, welcome back to All The Ones 9. So last time when we ended off, I was sitting in my storage and I ended up getting a phone call and I minimized the game and I totally forgot that it was running for like four hours. Uh, <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff and we're going to run into storage issues come pretty soon. Luckily, this right here can store 21 million end stone because we have 4.5 million right now. So yeah, <laughs> we kind of kind of lucked out that we set up these drawers properly because oh my gosh, this yeah, it's a lot. We have a lot of stuff now. 42,000 diamonds, 300,000 iron. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> I mean, I guess it'll set us up for good. Oh yeah, see, I even turned the sound off because I was on the phone. Where did I turn it off at? Oh, I think I turned it off in Windows. So, let's unmute this. There we go. What's up, Cluckington? How you doing, bud? He was just chilling the whole time. And I don't know how the hell this guy ended up in here. Anyway, okay, so I did receive quite a few comments and I always, as always, I really do appreciate them. Thank you all so much. Uh, we should have quite a bit of obsidian now too, right? Yeah, we have 4.6k. That's good. Um, but I did receive some comments about the mod that we were using. This one, the integrated dynamics. The reason that I wasn't able to pull things out is in fact due to that it's limited to what side you can pull items out of. So that's nice to know. But also, I was also told that it is definitely not the best solution for lava. And... If you recall, I was talking about maybe using Create, but the reason that I didn't want to use Create was because I didn't want it to clear out a lava source. But I also did receive something that said that Create might view a lava pool in the nether as infinite just because of the scale of it. So we might also do that just to get extra lava. I don't know why those things down below aren't outputting. Oh, you know what it was? I bet it was because we didn't have any fluid uh, space at all. And yeah, it was, and the fluid XP was filling it up. So let's empty that out. And I guess we could also make a fluid disc so we can have some more storage. But what, what we ultimately want to do today is set up the mechanism auto crafting so we can update and upgrade our ore factory. And maybe we want to look into getting to the next stage of the ore factory and messing with antimatter and such. Um, that would be us just getting deeper into mechanism itself because we would definitely want to make a reactor at that point, I think. What is that sound? Oh, it's the magma generators downstairs. It sounded like an airdrop coming in or some shit. I was so confused. <laughs> okay, we need to make some more patterns. Oh no, we have some. Okay, so we just need to make a fluid disc and we should be good. So let's look at the smallest fluid disc. I think it's 64K. It's the smallest one. Yeah, okay. So we're going to want to make a pattern for each of these like we did before, because I want to set up auto crafting for these as well. Just so it's easier on us. It's much nicer when things are auto-crafted for you. Go to the next level. And to the next level. I wonder if we can even make these. A billion power. So let's check all these in. And I guess... Hey man, stop that. Is there the 1024 mil? No. Yeah, 1048, okay, 1020, 1048 mil. Why is it 1048 instead of, whatever. Oh, we're just missing withering processors and uh, ways to make buckets. Okay. All right, pattern grid it is. It needs to know how to make these. And we'll also tell it to do this. And we need to learn how to make buckets, I guess. So let's learn how to do that as well. Put those in there. And then we'll chuck this in here. And maybe we can make the 1024. Is there anything bigger than the 1024? Is there a... Or 1048? Is there something larger than that? Like an infinite one? Infinite is three 1048s. Maybe I just try to make that. If I can. That could be pretty cool, I think. Let's see. Where's it at? Is it this infinite? Oh, I just need nether quartz. I can actually make it. I just, I just need nether quartz. 
quite a bit of nether quartz actually like 10,000 yeah I need 10,000 nether quartz damn well um that's a lot of nether quartz and I don't feel like mining that myself is there any other way to get nether quartz maybe I, maybe there are different ways and I just don't know it oh if you crush diorite and granite and andesite you have a chance to get it but is that the only thing can't you make andesite with cobble cobble and diorite okay so cobble and diorite can make andesite but what do i need to make diorite i need nether quartz which sucks am i growing nether quartz right now i am and then we could make this right here into diorite convert the diorite into andesite and then crush the andesite to hopefully get more quartz and then we have more quartz automation is that is that an idea that we go for here maybe uh and then we get yeah because then we can not have to use all of the two nether quartz we just use one nether quartz essence because one nether quartz essence if you think about it because eight nether quartz essence gets you 12 nether quartz so one is worth around like one point that's 1.25 i think nether quartz yeah so one nether quartz essence is worth 1.25 nether quartz because eight nether quartz essence equals 12 nether quartz so this would be the way to make the diorite if we were to do that nether quartz dust is this the one that we would get no it's just quartz dust it's this one from thermal series in the pulverizer here and then we just chuck oh and then we can just chuck diorite in here because we can craft diorite like so and then we can just chuck diorite in there right is that correct yeah and then we have a chance to get quartz dust is that a chance or is it always i think it's a chance right okay uh that could be something to do let's go down here let's put diorite in here so it'll start making diorite uh once we put the pattern in there and then i think maybe we'll try to do this to see if it'll work we'll check that in hopefully the diorite will start getting stored it says 64. Do I need to eliminate it now because it didn't have the pattern yet? Maybe. So we'll chuck diorite to 64. And I hope that works. Are all these gone now? Yeah, I used all of those. Okay. Are you not going to work? You can craft. Hmm. Is it because we don't have another quartz essence? We're out of glowstone dust as well. You guys are still pumping. Pump it up. Let's see where the nether quartz seeds are. I don't remember which one, which line they're on. Because we can definitely upgrade these. So the stone and nether quartz are right by the fire. Nether quartz and stone. Okay. Let's go ahead and make some growth accelerators. How much pris... Or not prismarine, damn it. Uh, I always forget the name. Prosperity. Okay, we have quite a bit. So let's go ahead and just make a stack of the, these. There we go. We just used 300 prosperity, which sucks, but that's okay. We'll go in here. We need to make eight of these. I'm going to fill up my inventory with this so it doesn't go into my inventory. Let's go ahead and do that. This. We are crafting up a storm. All right, there we go. We have quite a bit of that now. That's all right. Now we can make eight of these. And we can grab these growth accelerators. Let's go. Where's my wand? Hell yeah, this is going to work out. Let's go. We can just do this now. All the way down. Oh, we need to make more supremium. We'll just place this here. The supremium ones. And then we'll place the rest. So let's make some more. How many was that? How many lines? Four? 16 crystals. And then grab this. Bam. So here, 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 and here. There we go. Now these things should be growing. I would like to fill up the whole bottom part, but yeah, these things should start kicking. They're growing so fast. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. So those are going to grow faster. 
I'm hoping this thing starts putting the damn diorite in there. Did I do the wrong recipe for the pattern grid? You should be able to craft it, right? Pattern grid. Stone. Diorite. Exacts. Drop it in. It's part of the network. Drop it out. Why are you being so difficult, dude? Diorites. Is your priority all goofy? No? You should be on zero. What is wrong with you? Why aren't you doing? Let's go ahead and just break this. We don't need that sign anymore. We're good there. Why isn't diorite crafting? Is all the nether quartz just getting pulled out way too fast? Before it goes to the system? Is it just immediately getting chucked into here? Why is this going fat? Oh, it's because it's an elite exporter. Duh. So let's remove the elite exporter, I guess. Because it's going in there way too fast. <laughs> We're suffering from success. Okay. So let's just check this here. We'll check some speeds on it. And we'll do nether quartz. Essence. We'll do the grains of infinity and the uraninites. Did it make the diorite? It did. Okay, sweet. So now if I set something up to crush that diorite, we should be good to go. Give me those levels. Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do all these things. So the diorite is something potential to potentially get more quartz dust, but we need to make a pulverizer here. Also, I probably need to set up something to store diorite because I don't think we have anywhere to store it. We do not. Drawer. We have a compacting drawer. Maybe we'll just use this right like that. And then we'll lock it. Let's chuck it in here and link it to the system. Okay. Well, this can only hold a million. I say only a million. So we need to upgrade these uh, higher. How much gold do we have? 15K and 40K diamonds. How much of the rest do we have? We mostly have the end stone. Why is there so much end stone and not the others? It's weird to me. So let's just do that then. And that, I guess. Let's upgrade these again. You can still hold 42 mil, so you're good. Eventually, we'll want a lot of, so I think that's fine. Yeah, the amount of diamonds is fine. It's The problem right now is the gold, actually. Surprisingly, we don't have that much gold. But we got plenty of these. Oh. What took the diorite? Oh, the uh, system downstairs did. Okay, now we need to make the pulverizer. And we'll probably make another one. And also a stack of these. And a couple machine frames. Let's make some pulverizers. Here we go. Four pulverizers. Let's turn this off. Okay, should be fine now. Let's go down here and set up some more pulverizers here. Or the first pulverizers. And we're also going to need to be able to put stuff behind them. So let's break this concrete. And do one, two, three, four. I'm sure this is not going to be the best way to do this. But it's an idea. It's something to do, right? So let's do it. Try out new stuff and things. Really just need to get importers and exporters also being stored. So importer, 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 importer. And for now, we'll just check a cable in the middle. Do exporter, exporter, exporter. And we'll connect all those up like that. Right there. So now all these are part of the network. There we go, they're all ready. Now we need to make some augmentations. Uh, there, I think there's one to guarantee more output from secondaries, like for potential outputs, which is what the diorite's gonna be. So in here with the diorite, if you recall in the pulverizer, the, this I believe is a secondary. Um, actually, what we could do is we could just check that so let's go ahead and just grab some diorite. Let's just take it. 
real quick and let's chuck it let's just chuck one in there to see if it's a guarantee because if it's a guarantee that's cool i don't know if it was a guarantee i don't think so because i don't think we have it it would be quartz dust what we could do is we could turn off this let's do this again i hope it's like a 50 50 that would be nice because what we're doing here is we're investing 1.25 nether quartz that we would get for the potential of getting an entire nether quartz with just this. Where the hell did it go? Where's it going? Huh? Oh. I don't know what that button there meant. But yeah, like I was saying, we're investing 1.25 nether quartz to craft 16 diorites. So... The 16 diorite has a potential to output, if we were lucky, an entire 16 nether quartz. So we'd essentially be almost 15, we'd be multiplying our nether quartz by like 10 times if it were to work out perfectly, but it's not going to. So we might get around two to three times more nether quartz if we do it this way and it works. That's just my reasoning for this. I think it could be worth trying. Let's check for dust again to see if we got any. I still don't see any. Maybe it's a very low chance. It could be. It could be a very low chance. Auxiliary increases non-primary output production. So this one here, secondary products. We want these and we need, f oh, we have, we can just do this for bronze. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna probably want some bronze here. I have actually not messed much with thermal series at all. So this is going to be a very uh, interesting process for me. Just going to make a bunch of gears because I think I'm going to add a ton of this thing here. Oh, whoops. I'm just going to let me add this to the side. Damn it. <laughs> Where's it at? Right here. So I can click it more quickly. Uh, Invar. Simple enough. We can make some of that. Oh, this is annoying. Uh... Is there a machine that I could just have do this for me? Multi servo press? Ah, never mind. So we just need the Invar. We need a hammer. So let's grab one of these copper hammers and just make some Invar plates. Can we put more than one on one machine? Well, where's it going? Is it immediately getting output or am I just getting unlucky right now? Because this thing is not that fast. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to break that and see if we're just not getting anything. We're not getting anything. Hold on, no. Uh oh, did I do an oopsie? I plead oopsie daisies. Oh, if we just put flint in there, it's always nether quartz. Ooh. How do you make, do we have a way to get automated flint? Oh, we do. We have stone essence and fire essence. Yes! We can do automated flint, guys. Oh, man. This is going to be so much better if we do this. Okay. Well, I guess we're going <laughs> to learn how to make flint. Okay. This is going to be nice. Well, I'm glad I looked at that. Uh, we need to go up here and teach this how to make flint. Put our last pattern in there. There we go. So learn how to make flint, boy. Uh, we have a bunch of fire and stone essence. So that's going to be very nice. And then we can just have this now. Now we can have this output uh, granite. But we also need another exporter on here. Will it put... Will it allow it to put output flint too? Oh, I have to connect it to the network though. So if I connect this to the network... Hey, you. Can I reach that? Eh. Yes. Okay. Sweet. And then we can also tell it to output diorite is this going to be guaranteed please be guaranteed i still can't see anything no what is happening am i just am i getting scammed <laughs> um let me take this and put it on its put it on its own i'm really confused at what's happening here so we check this in we check this in there's no augments no augments, no output, nothing. It's on its own. I'm getting nothing. Is this supposed to happen? Is it still a chance? 
25% chance. Oh, I see. So at least it tells me here. Okay, so it does work. So let's do some math to calculate if this is worth it. So we're using four stone essence, which we don't really care about. But we're using one nether quartz essence, which is 1.25 nether quartz, to make 16 diorite. 16 diorite. 25% chance. So if we talk about it mathematically, we're guaranteed four nether quartz per. So we would be tripling. So let's see if there's an upgrade to increase that chance too. Mm. Oh, I do see that there's upgrades here too as well. But it doesn't look like there's a way to increase the pulverizer getting items. Um, does the auxiliary, auxiliary process sieve work for this thing? So if I chuck these on here, does it increase the percentage? Because then it would be 100%. It does not. Okay. So this only affects non-primary output. Is there a way to increase primary? Hmm. I guess there's not a way. Unless this does. Maybe. Let's try. Let's try to make this. So we just need a gold gear. You can also upgrade these, right? I don't know if that actually does anything for it, but let's make the reinforced one. I know it'll make it work faster. I just don't know if it'll like improve its output. I don't think it does. No, it does not. Okay, it does not look like it does. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, go ahead and place this down. And you, where's your diorite? Is this thing stealing all of the nether quartz essence? Probably. You should be able to grab that shit faster than that damn thing can. I don't know what you're doing. Well, it might be worth to stop crafting the nether quartz anyway to uh, make it craft into diorite. If this thing will do that, there it goes. And now I need to just turn this back on. Just hope that we get lucky, I guess. So these are gonna work faster. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make some more of these, I guess. Need some more Electrum, okay. So we'll make these. We'll chuck these on here. These will work faster too. Now we need to tell it to output flint and diorite. Okay. Hopefully these things are good to go. And they do the thing and we get more nether quartz. That would be pretty cool if they do that properly. So that's something new. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, sadly, the output rate isn't 100%, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't know what it would be here. Maybe it would be better to do the this because then it's a secondary product, I think. Does that mean it's a secondary product? Or is this not... I don't think this is secondary for this machine, right? The pulverizer probably doesn't have secondary outputs. Or is this considered secondary? I'm unsure. What can we make with... Oh, granite would be better? Would granite be better? Hold on a minute. It said granite can give two quartz dust, which then quartz dust would just need to be smelted, right? So granite into, so would granite be better? Mm, let's try this. Oh. Wait, is that every time? Is that every time? Ooh, shit. Okay, granite is the way. Diorite, get out of here. Granite, we're going to use you instead. Get in there, granite. Get in there. Okay, quartz dust. Oh, man. Well, that's an upgrade. Holy shit. Let's go up to this pattern grid and tell it how to make granite. One nether quartz essence, and that's two per. Holy crap. We're going to have so much now, I hope. So let's do the math. So 1.25, right, per 16. 1.25 per 16, and 16 are guarantee giving us two. 
So that is 32 for 1.25. Yeah, we're going to be multiplying by like 28 times the amount of nether quartz that we would get. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Yes. And it's every single time. It's looking like every single time. When I was looking at it, it was doing. So let's go ahead and just tell this to output this. So this just smelts it all, I hope. Is that what we need to do? So what do you need to do then? What do you need to go into? An enrichment chamber. Okay. Or a crystallizer. Now nah, we're going to chuck that shit into an enrichment chamber. Come here. Yeah. Hell yes. Let's chuck that in there. Let's make another one of these. Can we make the next level? Uh, no, we can't. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go down here. Guess I'm just going to chuck it here for now. Uh... Need an importer and an exporter again. Let's make a regular exporter and a regular importer. Do this Come over here, do that and do that. Auto sort on, item eject on, out of the top. None, none, energy, none. So input top, output on the back. It's gonna take in items. Taking the quartz dust. Yeah, there we go. We'll do a stack upgrade too. There we go. Now we need another stack upgrade. Maybe we need a stack upgrade for the outputs. Now we need speed. So we need mechanism upgrades. So we'll take these and this. And we'll check the speed in, check the energy in. There we go. Hell yes, dude. This is the way right here. Oh my goodness. I'm so I'm so pleased with this. We freaking did it. All right, now I need to go into the muffle and turn off that and that and that. Ooh boy. Our quartz is upgraded. Let's freaking go, man. Is this keeping up now with how much it's getting output? It looks like it. Looks like we're going to constantly keep up. So that's good. I guess we'll check a uh, speed on here just in case so we can stay on top. And we'll also do one there. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. We have way, that is way more improved nether quartz generation than I've ever done with the seeds. So let's do another recap. So... The nether quartz essence that we were doing, right, in one of these, the nether quartz essence, it took eight quartz essence to make 12. So we were taking eight of these, which one is 1.25 if you break it down in these terms. Now we're taking one of those and turning it into 32 each, which is absolutely insane. Holy cow. Oh, man, that's so good. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was an improvement I wasn't expecting, but there we go. We did we did some research and we found a new way to make hell another quartz. That is so freaking awesome. Let me grab this concrete actually and fill that wall back in. It's going to bother me because I'm thinking about it. All right. Well, that was an endeavor and I'm I'm happy that it paid off. That's freaking sick, man. Okay, we can put speed upgrades on these things too. Um the linkage amplifiers. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just make as many plates as I can. And we'll go in here and shabam. Shabam. Holy crap, we have 19. Okay, well, we have 19 of them. Oh, yeah, this thing is kicking. How are you guys? You're cooking up. There we go. You guys are good to go now, too. These things are pumping. We need to put upgrades on the importers. And on these, we're gonna have to put, oh man. All right, time to make a bunch of upgrades, I guess. So we're gonna need four stack upgrades and speed. Maybe we didn't need the stack upgrades, but oh well. But we definitely need speed upgrades for this. So we'll check one on there. Oh, this won't be able to keep up either. So we're gonna need two per. And if we do a stack, on the importers, then we should be good to go. Oh my gosh, just let me around here. Stack, stack, and stack. These are outputting properly. 
This is going... All right. All righty. Hell yes, dude. Yeah, you're freaking full now, huh? You can't keep up. Oh, man. This thing is all the way upgraded and it can't keep up. Let's see dust. And we're building up an excess. What else can you go into? Maybe I do make the crystallizer, huh? The crystallizer might go faster. It probably would. Well, no, because it can only have one slot, actually. No, the best thing to do would be able to make it into a furnace, but we can't. Um, is there a way to make mechanism even faster than the full speed upgrades? I actually don't know. I mean, it's still outputting like crazy, huh? Maybe we just need to upgrade it further so we can do more at once. Which means we need to do more of the lab so we can set up mechanism auto crafting because we have more nether ports coming in, which I wanted for the fluid disc, the infinite one, but we might need to wait on that. Oh, we're doing better. We already accrued 2000 more. So we just, just wait a bit longer and we'll be okay. So we'll, we'll put down the sign. We'll put it down right here. Say make infinite fluid disc automate mechanism there we go perfect oh we're so ready now we are ready freddy ready buscetties let's chuck these in here and empty out our backy packy chuck all this mess and now chuck all this stuff in here now we need to make some concrete we're gonna need to make more okay we have some concrete now we need to, I guess, go to sleep. Yo, you left me a gift. Thanks, Enderman. I'm still so excited that we figured that out with the nether quartz, man. Oh, dude, it's going to be so much more nether quartz. Just from the, the one seed that we have out there. Let's see. Essence. We Yeah, we're already still building up nether quartz, too, instead of using it all. That is so awesome. I'm so hyped for that. That is so sick. Oh man, <laughs> how's our urine tonight? Is it on the front page? Damn, we have 11K. We can make one another one of those reactors. Holy crap. Our nether quartz is gonna start exploding. It's gonna be sick. I'm so happy with that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go into our controls and rebind this key. G, whatever's on the G. Yeah, let's turn that off. What else? I don't know what that aura thing is. Change aura, there we go. There we go, now my storage is opening every time. Yes. Okay. Ooh, that shit was annoying as hell for me, so glad to have that done. All right, let's block this off. Now it's time to do some more cleaning up. Is this connecting glass, right? Yeah. What I actually do is this. There we go. Yeah, okay. We have more space to work with down here. That'll be nice. Um, I'll probably have it like get bigger and branch off and stuff. Maybe also I'll have an elevator on here. But for now, this is kind of fine, I think. So we'll leave this side for our simulation shit because we're probably going to do even more. We'll leave more room for those crafters there. And I think what I'm probably gonna wanna do here, we're definitely gonna need crafters on each of these machines for mechanism. Let's go ahead and make some crafters and also the machines that we're gonna need. There's so many machines here. Yeah, like uh, I'm gonna need a metallurgic infuser. I know that. Most likely need a crusher. Oh, I got one. Give me one more. Come on, they, oh, it's, it stole it. Got it, okay, there we go. So let's make the crusher uh, right here. We're gonna need an enrichment chamber. We're gonna need multiple uh, infusers. Yeah, we're gonna need multiple infusers. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of furnaces because I'm gonna need one for each type. Uh, I'm just gonna make four. I believe that should be enough. And we're going to need an osmium compressor. Okay, give me the osmium compressor. What is this? A rhubarb? Neat. All right, so these are probably all the machines that I'm going to need for this. Let's go down here and figure out how I want to lay these out. Because we're the, each of them are going to need a crafter on them, an importer, 
and an exporter. Actually, the metallurgic infusers are going to need more than that. Also, just upgrade these to the next level if I can. And then after we set up automation, then we can pop in some more stuff and have them uh, upgrade even further. Hold that backwards L, y'all. So we can do a line of three. And we're going to put cra crafters on the sides. Let's do an enriching factory. Compressing, crushing. And then we'll do the line of power here. We'll do crafters here and here. I'm going to leave this space open just for more crafters. So, all right. And this is infusing, infusing, infusing. Which one's this? Infusing. And we'll just do that. Um, okay. So now we need more, uh, more flux points. Do that, that, that. This one's gonna not, this one's gonna have to be separated even further. So we'll leave this one away for now. These ones all need to be put on wireless power. And we'll change this to 2,500. Should be actually probably 10,000 just to be safe for when we upgrade them all the way. I mean, we can always come back in here and change it again, of course. Okay, now we need to think about this because each of these are going to need importers and exporters on them and the infusing factories are going to need two and they're also going to need a crafter i need to think i need to think about this i need to think because the infusing factories are going to need two exporters on them because with mechanism you can't just have them take extra and input so these ones are going to be a pain in the dick to mess with let's clear this wall out Love that my shovel's faster at mining <laughs> than my pickaxe. Okay, let's go to sleep and let's get back into this after I wake up. Okay, six crafters. Let's see if I can get these to place properly, like first time around. Perfect. And then this one. There we go. Nice. All right, sweet. So these guys are good. And then we can just run the cable under here. Oh, no, it's back here. Okay, so here, get the cable. So then we can come up. Oh, not there. Right here. Go up here. And luckily, since the crafters are going to be right here, we can just do that right there. And then we can put the importers on these ones because these are going to need that importer um, or the exporter on there for the extra. Uh, but otherwise, they should be fine. We we'll probably need to do one on the floor, too. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. Uh, we need to get these crafters as well. So, take that wall out there. Like that. All right. Do that there. Okay. And can we play something there? Nice. Sure, whatever. We'll pretend it doesn't look ugly. <laughs> and we'll go here. Place these here. That's going to be so ugly for me. I'm going to hate it. It is okay. It's totally fine. It's totally cool. I'm just going to pretend it doesn't look gross. I'm just going to have to have double thick walls. I don't think that's too bad, though, if we're going to have, like, doubly thick walls here. Um, but I want to keep these things flush. What I should have done is moved them, moved the wall backwards one, and then built everything flush on this one. But yeah, we're going to have to go down and we're going to build an entire new wall here so I can have one layer of cabling on there. We actually might do two uh, just so I can have the extra space to get that done. How's our nether quartz coming along? Oh man, we've already made 6,000 since I've put that down. Look at the numbers just kicking up. Look at that. And we still we already have 2.4k quartz dust in reserve. Oh my gosh. This is this was the way, dude. Oh yes. How's our essence? Yeah, we are slowly, slowly picking up, even while we're going super fast with it too. That is so nice. Oh, that was such a good solution. I'm happy with that. That was so freaking cool. Okay, for these, we're going to need. So we're gonna probably tell the system to have a bunch of enriched stuff. So we can, then we're gonna have the exporters on the front of these exporting, not exporting. Uh, we're gonna have them exporting 
the enriched stuff into these. Can I change the front? I can, okay. So you're gonna take extra out of the front, all of you. Extra, I do input here, input, and then we'll do output of the back, energy here, and we'll turn these off because I don't like them to be connected when they don't need to. I wish I could copy this and paste it to other tools. Maybe you can, I just don't know how. So we need to get some patterns to put into the enriching factory here. Before we do that, let's go ahead and make six exporters or importers rather. Maybe we should just make the elite importers. So do that and then we'll just make elite ones. So we don't have to apply any upgrades and they just work faster. Okay, so those are on there. Now I need to set you up. Did I do auto eject for you? Nice, okay. Okay, so all of these are ready. Now at their basic level, we're gonna have to break them and put them back down to upgrade them later. And that's gonna be annoying, but I want to get this started anyway, so I don't have to worry about building the machines myself. Auto sort, auto sort, and auto sort, okay. So the enriching factory, we need to make another interface. I'm gonna try to use one of the other interfaces to see if it'll work, because they can hold more stuff. But I really, 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 really hope that I can, and it's not gonna be broken. Okay, I do need a regular interface, so let's just make a bunch of these. Oh, we're out of glowstone, hey? Does this need the elite one? Okay, it does. So we need a regular interface to upgrade to the elite interface. And then we want to upgrade it to the ultra. And we'll make the ultra exporter and then we'll make the ultra interface. And we'll use this one and hope that this works. We will place it, I guess here. Oh yeah, okay, so this can hold two rows. Very nice because this holds a hot bar and this holds two more than a hot bar so it can hold two rows plus four sweet so 22 items right is that right yeah i think so okay what do we need to be stored in here we want 64 of these 64 of these 64 of these and we're also going to want 64 of those now we need to do the enriched stuff. So this is all for mechanism. So we can set up auto crafting for it. Uh, let's see mechanism. See what else we want to set up auto crafting for in here. We're going to need antimatter stuff at some point, but not right now. Enriched tin. What the hell? I don't even know what that's for, but I'll throw it in here so I don't forget about it. I'll probably still forget about it. Yeah, that's it for now. Okay. Let's see if that interface works properly before they weren't. Uh, now I need external storage. I need one of these, oh, which we need glowstone for. So let's just make some glowstone and make some of these so we can have them and the system doesn't eat them up. Let's break that, throw this on here. Give it a crafter upgrade. We put that here so we can learn how to craft everything that we want. Now it's time to go to the pattern grid. We need to make some patterns because I believe we're fully out. Throw them in here. All right. It's time to get started. So let's tell it how to make enriched redstone. This is going to be for the enrichment chamber. So we just told it how to make these three products, which we want. Tell it how to make this, I suppose, at the same time. And screw it, we'll also do the carbon here. So we have all of these. We'll chuck them down into the crafter down here. And the this should already start working as soon as these are dropped into here. Do that, 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 that. All right, it's already working, that's good. All right, we're gonna need to make, oh man, um, the crushing factory. Where's the crushing factory here? Is it over here? Crushing factory, we're gonna need to do recipes for this So because I want to have auto speed and energy upgrades as well being stored. So for those, we need what, gold and osmium? Yeah, okay, so let's do a recipe for this. Go to the crusher here. We'll do that. And osmium as well. And we'll do this too for the crusher. So the crusher will crush those. 
Uh, it's also going to need to know how to crush. Wait, can this, does this just come out of the metallurgy infuser? Okay, it does. All right. Yep. Okay, so we don't need to worry about uh, making that into dust. All right, let's go ahead and chuck these into the crushing factory here. And then we'll go down here and tell this that we want speed 64 and we want energy 64. And then we need to go and make the patterns for that. Then we should start getting more upgrades as they are ready. So let's grab these. Oh, huh? Wait, why can't I take that? Oh, yeah, oh yeah I need to come down here and extract only. There we go. Is that it? Why can't I take these? Huh? Give me those. Are you working over here? You still doing it? Oh, you're working too. All right. I need to turn off the sound for the crusher down here. Okay, so for you, it's eight, seven, eight. Then you. All right. There we go. That's working. You should be filling up. There we go. It's making them. There we go. Hell yeah. So we have the basis of things working here. Now for each of these, we have to tell this to output. So this one's going to output enriched iron and steel dust. Oh, this is for steel production, which we're also going to need to do. We're going to need to make automatic steel, but we're not going to do it in one of these. Uh, we'll do the redstone here. We'll do the we'll do the other one there. So this is going to output the redstone into here. Uh, we'll do diamond on this one. Diamond. And then we'll do enriched obsidian on this one. Whenever it's whenever we're ready to have enriched obsidian, of course. So this is outputting the diamonds there. This is outputting the redstone. There we go. These are probably also going to need upgrades at some point too. So we'll do that. You're going to need quite a few of these. So let's just take them. And we'll do this. We'll just put another speed on there. Now we need to put patterns in these infusing factories here. So we need to put the pattern for the infused alloy into the first one. So let's take this. What the hell? Oh, this is not a pattern. Whoops. I was not in my pattern grid. I was confusing myself. So this, do processing, reinforced. Let's take the reinforced. And now we need to do the atomic alloy. So let's take this one. Now we need to take the basic and then this one here, this one here, which also goes into the crafter and then this one. So these three go into here. Now we go downstairs and we start chucking stuff in so these two into here and this should start working automatically and then we check this one into here and then we check this one into here and these things should start doing it up i hope that it's being oh this needs a uh, speed and upgrades too what is with the energy upgrades dude what the hell let's clear these out why was it doing that? So let's set those again. I don't know why it was being so weird. Okay, you are going to need eight of those, eight of these, there we go. And then eventually you should also be working. So we'll chuck eight in here and then we'll also do the same here. And this should start filling up with everything. And after these are filled up, then it'll start working on the reinforced alloy. And then it's going to make the elite control circuits, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to keep moving on for everything. Okay. Now you need to take a look at what is this for? This is, this is the weird shit. There we go. It was fixed. That was weird. Okay. So now we need to look at the refined obsidian here. Uh, we're going to need to get obsidian dust, automated obsidian dust. So means in the enriching, enrichment chamber, we need to make this recipe here and throw it into the enrichment chamber as well. Or the enriching factory, same thing. Uh, so go up here, 
Then we need obsidian dust. Grab this pattern and throw it in the enriching factory. Are you fully upgraded? Yeah, you are. Okay. You're working overdrive. You're starting to work now too. That's good. You'll start working eventually once we get all those cores done or the dust done. You know how to make those dusts, but you also need to... Oh, that's the crushing factory. We need to make the compressing factory re, uh, recipe. And also we need to put... Oh, Eve, we're going to have to put a dam. Oh, we're going to have to put an importer on that one. I'm going to swap these two. Crushing factory right here. We'll do the compressing factory there. We'll put our crafters down again. Crushing factory, you take these. Because this one is going to need an importer or an exporter on it in order to take osmium in the front. Or is your side going to fig the same? Okay, perfect. So you're going to need to take extra. And we need to tell this to take osmium. So take osmium. There we go. These are building up. Now we just need to tell this how to make uh, refined obsidian. I need to go to the osmium compressor to oh damn it wrong thing again rip go here make this recipe how can you make the enriched again does it oh it, it needs to be the dust okay we already have that recipe in there i think right so it should know how to make that it does know how to make it but we're not but we're not making any because we need to wait hold on a minute we just need obsidian dust to go in here oh no sorry uh the obsidian dust I'm confusing myself. So this needs to go in there, but this needs to go to an infuser. Okay, so you need a, you, but you already know how to make obsidian dust and the obsidian dust should be getting output into here, but these are getting output instead. There must be a step I'm missing here. There must be something I'm missing. You're not doing anything right now and those things aren't full. Let me check the crafting monitor. These aren't doing anything, cancel that. Oh my goodness, is it? Is it not prioritizing this right now? It needs to prioritize the refined obsidian dust. Because it doesn't know that it needs enriched obsidian in here, so it's not making it, which is not good. Oh no. What can I do here to fix this? You know how to make this. Why aren't you making that? Oh, is it because I'm stupid? It is. I didn't put the f***ing pattern into here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's what I was missing the entire time. Jeez, man. So, let's go ahead and try the Elite again, maybe. The Ultra Interface. Let's try it. Let me put the pattern in there first. Oh, so I was missing something. I knew I had to be. I just just slipped my mind. Okay. We were missing one pattern and it threw it threw everything off. So we need to chuck that in there. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. We should be good now. I missed one pattern and that's what broke everything. But now we should be okay. We should be okay. Oh god, I hope we are. I hope this is fine now. I hope it works. I sure hope it does. That should fill up, and then the rest of those should fill up as well. Okay, you're still working, but you need speed upgrades and energy upgrades. Upgrades. Let's take half of these. Alright, we have upgrades. Upgrades, people. And you are as well. You are as well. Okay. Do I need to tell this to hold this too? Will it work if I do that? You check the crafting manager here. No, it's not doing anything. Okay, that worked. I don't know why. Maybe it just was bugging. And we'll... Uh oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Oh gosh. I hope I hope we're good now. I hope we're all mechanismed out. I sure hope we are. That would be pretty cool, I think. Okay, now we need to set up the steel crafting one. 
We'll probably need more infusing factories as well anyway. Let's do that. Do energy. This is going to be input. There's going to be nothing on the top. None. And the back is going to be output. Oh, actually, no. We did the... Or elite importers, actually, is what we did. So, let's keep that same energy do an elite importer there make a another crafter just my preference to always have the iron crafters and we'll do like so so that's connected now now this one is going to output carbon so we need a cable and we need to connect it to this so you're going to do the enriched carbon output and auto eject on it's going to be extra, so you should be taking carbon. There you go. Or do these have speed on them? They have one. So one speed on each of those. Okay. So you're outputting carbon. That's good. Now we're going to tell this doohickey over here to store steel. Stealing it here. Tell that to store that. And now we need to tell the crusher to learn how to make iron dust. Crusher. Iron dust. Oh, and we also need to tell the infuser how to make uh, steel dust. Oh, we need enriched iron too. Whoops. Okay. And how do we get the enriched iron? With carbon. So, all right. We need to do two recipes there. Enriched iron and steel dust. And the crusher needs to learn how to make iron dust. Hopefully this starts to work. If this thing starts to work. You know how to make it. Enriched iron. Iron ingot. You have the recipes. Why can't I see the steel in here? Oh, because I'm silly. That's why. That's exactly why. I need to put the uh, steel pattern in here. So, steel... From all the ores, okay. I just need, I just wanted to make sure. Steel dust. All the ores. So much auto crafting today. Go there. Now it should start making steel, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. It is. It's doing it. Very, very cool. Make uh, speed upgrades for each of the crafters here. So they can push items a bit faster. Did you work? No. You made the enriched iron. Where did it go? Were you crafting? Steel dust. Scheduled. Steel dust. Processing iron. Okay. Enriched iron. But where is it sitting now? So it made... I saw it making enriched iron. But where did it go? Yeah, oh, it's not outputting because I don't have it connected. Silly me. There we go. <laughs> Self-inflicted injuries, man. Okay, we have we have it doing the thing. This is storing almost everything. I hope that it like fully picks up and fixes itself and it'll keep working one onesie twosies aren't getting stored but that's fine how's our nether quartz we're up to fifty-three thousand. holy crap we've already made twenty-one thousand nether quartz and we're behind on the nether quartz too hell yes can i make the infinite uh fluid disc infinite tsukiyomi uh yes infinite fluid storage part go hell yes this is gonna be sick we're gonna drain a lot of resources for this but it's totally fine and totally cool this thing is moving boy look at that that thing's schmoving holy crap it's finished Oh my god. That took a long time. Uh, fluid. Look at this thing. 
get in a disk, infinite fluid storage, and look. Bam! Infinite fluid. Now we need to take these and we need to make a disk manipulator. So, disk manipulator. Make one of these. Now we need to go, we need to place this down and hook it up to the system and do this. And these uh, should start importing fluid, right? You should do that. You should totally do that. That would be cool. Fluids. There we go. Bam. Bam. Go. All right, sweet. Let's break this. Break those. Baller. Freaking baller. Let's just put it right here. Because we're probably going to need this too in the future. So we'll just throw that there. Throw a stack and speeds in here. There we go. Now we have infinite fluid storage. Ain't that something? And I also probably want to take these out and throw them into here. So these get inputted into the network too. These are going to take a while. Is this our pattern? This is fluid. Yeah. And now we'll have unlimited fluid storage. So that's cool as hell. Uh, we did get a quest reward as well for that. So let's look. Okay, that's all we got. Nice. <laughs> is that from refined storage? Oh, it's because I need to make a storage housing and put it in my inventory. Is that why? I've already made so many of these, though. So let's just grab one then. And it'll complete a bunch of quests. Stuff! We got stuff and things! Now we need to make an advanced storage housing. So let's do that. I already made the infinite. Oh, it didn't count, though. And I'm not making another one. There is... Oh, there's infinite storage parts for items, too. I did not know that. Cool! That sounds pretty cool. Let's just chuck all this junk into here. Do we not have a 1048 storage part? So let's, uh, oh, we don't even have the 262 mil storage part either. I don't think I saw that. Or the 16 mil. Well, now we do. Let's chuck all that in there then. And let's see if we can make it now or what all we're missing. Having infinite storage would be pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's so much. So, uh, no, we can't. Well, how high can we make it, though? Can we make this one? Almost. But we need more nether quartz. But we have a bunch crafting. Uh, that was the 1048. That was a billion items. So, we can make the 16 mil. 16 million item one. Maybe we do that. But not right now. Um, our storage is fine. It's uh, We're slowly transferring to that other disk right now. Okay, so we have the storage done. All right. I think that is great. I think that was great progress. We finished up with the basics of the mechanism crafting stuff. We have the basic machines done here, which is really cool. We set up the interface over here to hold all of the mechanism stuff. So it's going to continuously output things as we need them. I hope so. I hope it continues to do that. Uh, it looks like it's kind of wonky sometimes with these uh, ultra interfaces. Um, but hey, you know, it's it's doing what it, what it needs to do. Uh, except for the granite. Are we out of, are we out of nether quartz? Dust? No, we're not. We have quartz essence. Are we out of stone essence? That's what we're out of. Okay, so we're bottlenecked with stone essence right now, which is unfortunate. But how much quartz dust do we have? We have 8.2k. Okay, so that's 20,000 nether quartz dust. Where's that stone seed? Is it along this line here? It is. Uh, it's just fairly slow at the moment. I think it's fully upgraded, right? Did I fully upgrade that one? The one right next to the wall? This is it, right? This is for the stone, I think. If not, then that was a mistake. I did not. Okay. All of these are upgraded. The stone seed is not. So let's do that real quick. Oh, I'm going to need more of these. Where's my master crystal? What? Did it get put in that damn system again? No. Where is it? 
I know I had another one. Did it get eaten up? I don't even know where it went. But I'm going to take this Master Crystal. Did I not have another one? Ding, man. Oh, we're out of the blue anyway. Okay, we need to check Mystical. And we need to make a bunch of this first. We need more. There we go. Oh, whoops, not yet. There we go. Okay, so these are all full. Uh, I'm gonna have to go down through this damn thing and mine this stuff out. There we go. We did it. Okay, so now this whole thing. Oh, never mind. I lied. We didn't do it yet. There we go. So later on, we can fill this entire pit up with that stuff. But now the stone seeds should be kicking off too. Uh, or the essence. So hopefully we won't be bottlenecked as much anymore. Where did I get these growth accelerators from? What? Why do I have two? Huh? Oh, right here. Boom. There we go. Now it's fully going. There we go, beautiful. All right, perfect. Chuck all this away in hill. Um, should be good now. Stone essence is coming in strong. Very nice. It's just not going fast enough. But it is going. That's what matters. Damn, that raw coal. We're going to need to set that to smelt too. So, raw coal, put it into here. Yeah, get in there. So that's... Damn, it's still outpacing us. That is insane. It's still outpacing how much we can smelt. That's crazy. Let's check our raw ores here. So, raw coal is what's getting cooked right now. What does raw sulfur turn into? Sulfur dust, which can then be made into gunpowder. Okay. Ore vein diagram. Oh, that's for vein stuff which we don't worry about do i not have aluminum set up over there i must not huh interesting all right there we go it's gonna go now look at how much stuff we have in here bro jesus it's so crazy still cooking iron let's uh Gold barrel. Do an iron to gold upgrade for the chest. What's it transferring right now? Aluminum and iron? No gold? All right, time to exchange this for gold. Need some more damn gold. Hell yeah. All right, that gold's going to be pumping soon. As soon as this stuff's done with its iron. All right, sweet. Okay, that is a good spot for me. Uh, it's been been quite a bit. We upgraded a ton of stuff today. I am so pleased with the nether quartz change. Oh, that's so nice. We are literally producing so much nether quartz now. We have the infinite fluid storage. We're going to upgrade the magmatic machines downstairs so they get lava faster. Maybe we'll also look into the create lava pump like I mentioned in the beginning. But everything took a turn because we wanted to get that mechanism crafting done and also we just wanted to get prepared for when we're going to start upgrading our mechanism or factory because i think that's what we're going to do next time i'm going to at least try to take a look into that there might be more things that we run into that we're going to have to upgrade but everything went awesome that's where we're going to stop for now thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you all take care and i will see you in the next one goodbye